Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with NBA 2K13. And you know what? I had to do this game. I know I normally do a My Player mode or an Association mode video here, but once I saw this potential matchup, I had to go ahead and play this. Because when Kobe Bryant said earlier in the year that the 2012 Olympic team could have beat the 1992 Dream Team, there was a lot of people that were talking about it, a lot of debate, all of which I thought was very interesting. Now this is one of the few opportunities that we have to be able to get an idea of what it would be like if these two teams went up against each other. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to get this started. Now one of the big things that I heard both ways here is you have age as a big difference with the 2012 Olympic team. You got some younger guys with the dream team. You had some people that were kind of closer to the end of their career. You also hear that with uh, the 2012 team, a lot more flash, whereas with the 92, it was a lot simpler. People were just going ahead, executing on the fundamentals, playing good basketball. So I'm gonna try and take that approach. I mean, you're not gonna see as many big dunks. I'm gonna take things a little bit slower. I'm gonna be looking for a good shot. I'm taking the opportunity here to play as the dream team because I'm going to be seeing LeBron James. I'm going to be seeing Kobe Bryant a lot here as I'm going through and playing some of these videos. I won't be able to see Michael Jordan or Patrick Ewing. A lot of these guys are, uh, that you're going to be looking at on here, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson. Gosh, you got some big, big name players. 11 total Hall of Famers coming out of the dream team. It'll be, get a, it'll be kind of cool to get a chance to finally play as them. So early on here, you can see it is neck and neck. We keep tying up the game here. The 2012 team does continue to get on the board. LeBron James missing that one here. Chandler going up with the dunk after the rebound. So I got to get big here. That's one of the things that uh, I am kind of worried about is uh, how we're going to be doing here from uh, the standpoint of rebounding. All right, Charles Barkley driving towards the net here. Going with the jumper, and I make it. So it'll be uh, kind of interesting in this as well. I mean, since uh, we are the 92 Dream Team, you know, everybody, everybody has a chance to really be able to score and make a big impact on the game. So how do I, as somebody who is playing as the Dream Team, utilize everybody efficiently? I mean, is there one, one person that I'm going to be going to over others? Or is it just going to be whoever is open, like just playing smart? Honestly, if I do have Michael Jordan, though, you're going to be seeing a lot out of him. Going up uh, defending against Kobe Bryant as well. All right, Chris Paul. Get the pass down low. What a great, great alley-oop right there. Telling you, a lot of flash you're going to see out of this team. Now, we are down by three points right now. I guess I really shouldn't say we because, you know, both teams, I think, really, really are like my team, you know, because they're both USA. I really, I don't know, like if I were to weigh in on my opinion between the two, I might have to say that the Dream Team is the better team. And I know that that's going to be kind of controversial. I'm sure it's going to start in a, a debate here in the comments below. That's kind of cool. Anyway, so as we reach the end of the first quarter, you can see the 2012 team is up by two. So changing things up here a little bit. Now we've got some uh, different players in than the starters. Pippen, long jumper to tie the game up once again. So still really close. Nobody jumping away with a big lead here early on, but now Team USA up by three. Stockton at the top of the key, one of the greatest point guards to ever play the game. And Pippen driving and the foul. All right, so a potential three-point play right here to go ahead and once again tie the game back up here. So a few changes right here. Patrick Ewing coming in for David Robinson here for the Dream Team. So this should be a pretty easy uh, free throw here for Scotty Pippen. And it goes in no problem. So the game once again tied. All right, now I'm down by two. Wow, quick bucket right there. Got to watch those. All right, Pippen into Drexler who makes that bucket as well. The thing is, is both of these teams, you really have to, to play everybody close. You got to play well here. Oh, Stockton taking that one here. It's going to be close. Stockton makes it. I didn't think that uh, he was going to get that bucket, or I thought he was going to be swatted. That would have been a pretty nasty block right there, too. But Stockton also getting the three-pointer at the top of the key. But like I was saying, with both of these teams, 
you really got to play well because you give up just a little bit against one of these teams and they're just going to annihilate you. Same thing holds true with one of the players. You know, with anybody on here, you give them a little bit of room. You let them get past you just a little bit on defense and you are going to be paying the price. All right, now we're up by five here. So it seems like the momentum is definitely in favor of the Dream Team right now. But King James, good bucket right there. LeBron's really been destroying us here in this game. I mean, it's it's actually kind of been sad the way that uh, Charles Barkley has had to defend uh, against LeBron James. Not necessarily sad that he's had to, but just how he has been defending LeBron James. It has not been the greatest. Some points on the board here. Actually, a hefty amount of points on the board here for the 2012 team coming from LeBron James. There is another jumper and another basket from him as well. All right, still up by six points now. See what I mean? LeBron James driving towards the hoop and getting another basket. Ten points on the board now for the King. All right, getting it to Barkley. Trying to get towards, towards the hoop here. And another one here. But that comes from David Robinson. A great dunk right there. So we've seen a dunk from Clyde Drexler. We've seen one from David Robinson. So maybe I'm not playing as... Uh, you know, not as flashy as I, I'd be expecting here, but a good three-pointer right there. Now I am only up by one. Scratch that, down by one. Westbrook with a good dunk. All right, less than a minute left here in the half. Now getting it to Drexler. Back to Pippen, who's trying to drive inside. Hey, it works. A little finger roll right there to get the basket. And now we're about 30 seconds left. Stockton going around. Getting past everybody, the little guy. You always got to root for the little guy in basketball, I feel. Stockton getting it done. All right. Carmelo driving again, the jumper. Also going in. All right, so we reach halftime here. You can see that the Dream Team is down by one point to the 2012 team. Like I said, really, really difficult because I cannot make any mistakes. The mistakes that I have made here in this game have really cost me dearly. In fact, kinda would not like to see exactly how many points here coming off of mistakes of my own, but there is Michael Jordan with his fadeaway jumper. I had to get that in at least once. So I'm glad having him back in. David Robinson going towards the hoop. And that one in. All right, now Barkley over to Jordan and the jumper. Of course that was gonna be going in. MJ has just been rocking in this game. It seems like every time I get it to him and he goes ahead and he puts something up, it's going in. Wow, Robinson with the block right there. Now getting it to Jordan, who dunks over Kobe. That was awesome. I have to watch it again because they didn't show that as a highlight because right after that, the 2012 team calls timeout. But a huge dunk by MJ. Now we're up by nine. All right, I'm feeling good about this here. First half, we weren't doing too hot. Now we reach the second half, and we're doing a lot better. All right, Chris Paul at point guard here. Magic Johnson defending him, trying to go with a little steal attempt. But Kevin Durant not making that one here. Chandler, though, gets the rebound and the easy bucket there, too. All right, keep driving in with Jordan because it keeps working. It's one of those things, it's really, really nice in basketball to have consistency with anything. And especially when you've got somebody like Michael Jordan and you feel good about the consistency with the shots. And with them going in, that feels great. But Kobe, take a look at this one again. That is one of the examples of what happens when I make a mistake. I didn't defend Kobe as well as I should have, and I paid the price. And the foul on that one here. So if we're looking here at a free throw it's gonna be a two-point game I was up by nine I could only be up by two so a great run here by the 2012 USA team now the thing is is I've been going really fast tempo here for the last few minutes and I think that's what's really been causing this turnaround here for the 2012 team to be getting this run kind of different from what I've been doing you know playing a little bit slower taking some time and I'm really paying the price because whenever I'm going with this fast-paced style and I make the mistake, the 2012 team, though, 
with their youth and their agility. They're destroying me here. Patrick Ewing with the fadeaway jumper as well. Game is tied. Now I'm down by two. All right, give it to Ewing again here. You know what, why not? But get it back to Jordan. Kind of driving towards the hoop here. And again, gotta love that. Jordan's the leading scorer right now in the game. I expect that to hold true once we hit the, the final buzzer. All right, I'm kind of trapped here. So handed it off to Malone. Can't make the drive. So Pippen. All right, Pippen with a long two-point shot. And now here we are with Pippen again at point guard, getting it back to Magic. All right, Jordan. Getting it to Ewing down low. The 360, and that one goes up. Now we've got only a few seconds left here in the third. Carmelo getting that one as well. 10 seconds left here, Pippen. Gonna try and drive in, not gonna make it. So I get it to Malone, over to Jordan. The three-pointer right at the buzzer and that one goes in. So a great way to end that third quarter here with a three-point shot from none other than the greatest basketball player of all time. So now we are up by five here as we reach the fourth quarter. Kinda nice here having the lead. Not taking it for granted, I'm not resting. A good block right there by Charles Barkley. And Robinson kind of playing point guard right now. But are we gonna be able to capitalize on this one? I'll give it to Stockton now. Kind of looking for somebody, gets it back to Robinson. And now it is seven points. So two points off of that. Now Stockton trying to go with the steal here. Alley oop, Mullen though, stopping that one here. Let's do this pretty quickly. Actually, I'm gonna stop. Slow things up here. I don't want to get tempted by going uh, too fast here. Clyde trying to get around everybody. Not able to do it. Barkley driving in. Oh, Chuck. And the foul. If there's anything I would say about the defense on that play, that's just terrible. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to say terrible. I was thinking about even throwing a knucklehead in there. But I didn't. Not yet. Maybe I will. All right. Let's see if I'll get the three-point play right here. And it goes in. All right. So a 10-point lead. Now we've already doubled what we had at the beginning of the fourth quarter. So now I really am feeling comfortable about this. LeBron with another basket. All right. Jordan now driving. This is always dangerous. At least for the 2012 team. I guess it's dangerous for anybody who's going up against MJ. Kevin Durant now. Moving around. Trying to find somebody open. And Chandler is in a sweet, sweet dunk. Really, when you take a look at the energy of the two teams, I mean, you see a lot more out of the 2012 team. You know, both teams are rated 99, but you look at how many dunks there have been. How many quick scores. The 2012 team definitely has been getting a lot more of those. Almost like it's kind of more exciting to watch them. But when you take a look at what the score is right now, there's another big play. When you look at the score though, all this energy, all this flash, it's really not helping out too much. Now, it is a four point game. Make that six after a great pass from Jordan into Magic Johnson. All right, so now it's a matter of retaining the lead. Being careful here. Jordan against Bryant. But Kobe able to get that one. Nice finger roll there as well. Okay, four points now separate Team USA 2012 and the Dream Team. But Barkley again trying to drive it back to Jordan and another three pointer. So these trays keep dropping like nothing else when Michael Jordan goes ahead and throws those ones up. Not the best shot defense by me on that one. But now five points here, less than two minutes and 30 seconds left in the game. So this is where it really matters. This is where consistency pays off. This is where it's important to stick to the fundamentals. Charles Barkley once again. Barkley in the fourth quarter has been a major presence. It seems like at the beginning and at the end, we've been seeing a lot of him. Here's Larry Bird with a jumper. 
And now it is nine points. So I think we've got this one. It's going to be a lot to turn around. Chandler going with the inbound pass right here. And it is stuck on the back of Chris Paul. But David Robinson gets it to Magic Johnson, who gets the dunk. You know what? For something like that, I'm okay with something a little bit flashy, you know? you got to make uh, some great highlights by doing that. Still 10 points here. All right, make that eight now. Wow. Great moves right there. Magic is just rocking it. 99 to 89. 20 seconds left here now. And give it to Jordan. Oh, Charles Barkley. Can you imagine if he had been in here the whole game? But anyway, this is going to go ahead and end the game. I appreciate you guys watching this. I really do. So it looks like that when it comes down to it, the dream team would be the 2012 USA team. Man, this was fun to play. It is awesome to be able to commentate using the names of Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, as well as Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, and so many others. So this was a blast. I hope it was for you guys as well. You are awesome. Thank you so much. And if this is your guys' first video, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd appreciate that. You guys can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great stuff. But you guys are awesome. You really are. Do not ever forget that. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one. Oh, of course, Michael Jordan is the Jordan player of the game. Of course he calls himself. Anyway, you guys, thanks again.